Manchester United have drawn 1-1 away at Chelsea. Probably the best result Manchester United could have hoped for going into this game. Wasn't expecting anything other than a comfortable Chelsea win. And a point doesn't do Manchester United a lot of good in the grand scheme of things, but away at Chelsea, it's acceptable that Manchester United to come away with a draw. But, I mean, there were some surprises, really, to be honest. We know Cristiano Ronaldo starting up front for Manchester United, which was a major shock for Manchester United. And, to be honest, I don't really know what to, to say, certainly on that first half, because that was such a dominant performance from Chelsea. De Gea's had to pull off two very good saves in that first half to keep Manchester United in it. A very good save from was it Hudson Odoi early on in the game, and then tipped one onto the bar from Rudiger later on in the first half. Otherwise, Manchester United could have been at least one or two down. That Chelsea was so dominant over Manchester United, we basically com uh, completely and utterly put the shutters up in that first half. Chelsea could have done a bit better, maybe to try and fucking break us down, but. When you've got a fucking all them fucking players behind the ball, it, it is fucking very difficult. And Manchester United looked horrendous at trying to get up on the, on the counter attack. We really did. It was it was horrendous. Rashford was very poor first half. It was very very poor. But you can't just blame it on the on the forward players because they weren't really getting much of the into much of the game. Chelsea were dominating in our in our area. And we were very. I, I was very happy to get a nil nil at half time. Really was for Manchester United. And, I mean, with Matic, you've got Matic, McTominay and Fred in midfield. I mean, that is a fucking midfield three of fucking just sitting back and defending and inviting pressure onto you, in my opinion. But but second half, Manchester United have looked a little bit better at the start of the second half. And what a mistake it was to allow Jadon Sancho in to score the first goal of the game. I'm really pleased for him because he's not had a lot of football. Deserves a lot more minutes than he's been getting for Manchester United. We know what a quality player Jadon Sancho is. And what a quality player he's going to be for Manchester United in years to come. We are very lucky to have this geezer at Manchester United. Because I, I've, I've wanted him for a long time. And I was very pleased that Manchester United scored when we didn't deserve to be going 1-0 up. And we give away wan -Bissaka. stupid from wan -Bissaka. fucking stupid. And what he was doing there to, to that equaliser of a penalty. And, I mean, we've, we've, we've had uh, glimpses on the counter-attack. Rashford's looked a lot better in that second half. Glimpses of what Manchester United could potentially do on the counter-attack if Chelsea kept pushing. But after that penalty, it wasn't to be. We were maybe a bit... I mean, Chelsea pretty much dominated the rest of the game, didn't they? Um, pretty much. And I think we were fortunate to come away with the draw, but we've got the draw. And... Uh, it's a, it's a point away from home, you, you take it away from home one of these big teams, you definitely do, because I thought it was going to be an easy Chelsea win, but we would never have seen that type of, of game under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The, the defending was certainly a lot better than it has been under, pre, under previous games under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, for sure. I mean, we shipped him four at Watford, four against Leicester, and these are a much better side than them two teams. I mean, the defending was so, has been so much better in these last two, although... Although we, we haven't been great in these last two games against Fuller and Chelsea, not, not saying we've been great at all, but we've definitely defended better. Maybe it helped that fucking Slavin Maguire wasn't playing today. Luke Shaw, who's been poor this season, weren't playing either. And them, them two have been an absolute disgrace this season. I mean, he has brought Cristiano Ronaldo on in the second half, but we, we were, I mean, we played s s sat back so much and, and Chelsea have had so much so much uh, attacking in our final third that the forward players for Manchester United couldn't really get in the game at all. Lingard's come on in the second half and Van der Beek. Two players we haven't seen enough of in recent weeks under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, which is crazy to think uh, the, the Carrick's now giving them a game over the likes of Greenwood. So, and, and Sancho we haven't seen a lot of till the last few weeks either. So it is what it is for Manchester United. We get the point, we roll on to Arsenal. That is a must-win game for Manchester United, the Arsenal game, because lose that. And we are fucking miles off the top, off the top four. I, I don't know where we're going, but we will have to wait and see. But anyway, we've got the draw, the draw in this game. Ne ne I'm never going to cheer for a draw. I mean, a draw's a, a decent result by Chelsea, but never going to celebrate a, a draw because this is Manchester United. Manchester United should be doing better than sitting back and defending. It is a disgrace that Manchester United have gone, the, gone this way, considering the amount of money is spent on this team and we're sitting back and defending for large parts of this game. Yes, this is the European Champions. Yes, this is against the best team in the Premier League, but still, it's still a disgrace. This is Manchester United United, and we're playing like a fucking, a, pretty much like a fucking Sam Allardyce team. West Brom away at fucking Liverpool or something last season. It really is 
that's what a disgrace for me, Manchester United. This isn't Manchester United, this isn't how Manchester United should be, but it is what it is at the moment in time. You, in weeks, I certainly accept this over what we've seen against Watford and fucking Leicester, I really do, because their performance was absolutely atrocious. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Can Manchester United hit a revival now and move forward? Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you're watching this on Facebook, please do hit the share button, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See you.